Hey everyone. Today we'll be learning about the iris invigilation instruction, right? So the instruction on how to install and use iris invigilation for UNISA. It's only for UNISA, University of South Africa, right? This one, these are the instructions for UNISA. Iris setup instruction for CSET students. So the CSET students are the students who are in the College of Science, Engineering and Technology. Right, they are the ones who are using the iris invigilation software. Right, okay. Then we, what is iris? We'll start there. What is iris? Iris invigilation iris is a software program that helps provide UNISA staff with assurance of assessments, integrity during online and remote assessment. Iris records audios, video and computer screen activity for the duration of a test or exam. It analyzes this information using machine learning and automatically flags potential academic dishonesty. So when you are writing your exam, you need to install and use Iris. So I'm still new to, to this Iris uh, in visualization but I'm excited because as technology advances like so sh should we as it becomes more advanced we should also be aligned with the changes that are happening around us so Iris record audios videos and computer screen activity for the duration of a test exam or exam it analyzes this information using machine learning and automatically flex potential academic dishonesty right how does iris work so okay when iris is active it will be recording a video of you captured through your computer's web camera it will also be recording sound from your computer's microphone every few seconds it will take a screenshot of whatever it is showing on your computer screen so this this ensures that the, you are honest in your if you are in your writing of exams especially if you do programming like you don't copy so it will be taking screenshots right this is very effective okay then then we have uh, necessary equipment stable internet connection laptop or desktop these are the equipments that we need external or built-in microphone no headset and then we need a web camera as well we recommend the minimum specifications for your computer to be 4 gigabyte RAM and Windows 7 64 bits. That is the recommendation for Iris. Download and install Iris plugin Google Chrome. So okay, the, this plugin it, it it is it is you download it then it will be installed in your in your Google Chrome. Okay, so they prefer for you to use Google Chrome right to add this plugin of iris in your Google Chrome before completing any exam using iris you must have iris installed on your laptop or desktop iris is a plugin that is installed on a browser you can use either Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge the preferred browser is Google Chrome before installing the plugin make sure you have the latest version of the browser you are using Right. You must make sure that you have the latest browser before installing Iris. Navigate to Google Chrome Web Store. So you go to Google Chrome Web Store, Chrome Web Store, then you search in, inside that web store under extensions, then you go and then you search Iris. Right? Then Iris will show will show up. Iris extension. Let me go up a bit. Search for Iris, click on Iris in results. Then it will show the Iris extension. Right? So this is the extension, then it will be added on your what? Click on Add to Chrome. Then you click on Add to Chrome. That's it. When you add this extension to Chrome, then Iris will be added to your, uh, to your Chrome web browser. Okay? Click on Add extension. Then you click on Add extension. These are the steps. 
writing your examination open google chrome log on to the examination site for your module iris is activated when you when you access your assessment on the my exam portal follow the iris instruction carefully start your test right, i hope this helps these are the instructions that you need to follow S these instructions you also find them on your unisa they're under the instruction of how to install iris so i'm i'm reading them to you so that if you haven't seen them or if you haven't read them you can go to this video and then i explain them step by step follow iris instruction iris will first ask you to agree to terms and conditions you need to tick the first box to proceed right you tick the first box to proceed after that follow iris instruction if the browser shows pop-ups asking permissions to access your camera and microphone click allow so you need to allow if you see that pop up like you see that on that on that window there then you allow iris because it needs to have access to your microphone to your camera yes to process on using plugin okay and then follow iris instruction and you follow the instructions to so tell you the instruction an iris video will start playing to guide you through the setup process you will need to select a webcam right because that webcam it, it, it will be used you need to select the webcam and microphone device fill in your full name student i student number ne? student id number uh, student i number and then click next please type in your student number correctly do not use your id number you don't use your id number use your student number right so okay then fine and then follow iris instructions you will be asked to hold your student card or driver's license or id book or passport clearly in front of your webcam click on the capture id card button once you only click it once you have successfully taken a clear picture of your student id card you click it once you have taken a successful capture right when you see that everything is clear then you click that button once student id card photo id click on next and then you follow iris instruction iris will give more instructions and show you that the face detection technology is working by drawing a square around your face so it will draw a square around your face to show that the face detection is working follow iris instruction your setup is completed click the start invigilation button start invigilation button follow iris instruction again iris will ask you to share your screen and you will begin to be invigilated please click on the little copy of your computer screen right the little copy of your computer screen in the center of the share window in the center of the share window then you cl you click on the copy of your screen of your computer screen in the center of the share window before attempting to click the share button the share button will be grayed out and will only activate once you click on the little copy of your screen All right and then you click on the share button then you follow iris instruction you can now minimize iris open your test and start writing when you are done with your test you can submit iris will now upload your session recording files and close automatically this iris is quite convenient because now you don't manually submit so it submits everything that it has recorded throughout the exam session then it submits it automatically so this is quite amazing uh, smart in visualization then quiz assessment if you if your assessment is a quiz rather than a file upload then it will require a password you should not fill in this password yourself iris will do it for you so iris will do will fill in the password for you if it's a if it's a quiz assessment right and a file upload then it will require 
okay and then should not you should not fill the password yourself iris will do do it for you if the password is not filled in automatically it means that iris has not been activated correctly so if you see that it's not filling which means there's something wrong with the activation you need to follow the steps to activate iris correctly iris mock examinations all students writing iris invigilated examinations are linked to the iris prep 2022 site on my modules the site has a quiz mock exam and a file upload mock exam and other important information please go to iris prep 2022 site on my modules and complete the mock examination okay then iris invigilation good luck with your exam thank you very much for your time don't forget to subscribe for more learning content